You've heard us talk here before on First Down Playbook about how it's really difficult in flag football to play zone coverage, uh, particularly with the fewer number of uh, alignments, meaning 4v4, uh, 5v5. When you get to 6v6, 7v7, some 8v8, it becomes easier, but you still have to be pretty careful with it. And we had a question the other day uh, from a coach who said, well, you've, you've mentioned how hard it can be playing bunch sets out of man coverage because of all the picks and rubs that you're going to get. Uh, but at the same time, you're uh, a little bit negative about zone coverage. And, and they're exactly right. So we want to just uh, point out a couple of things here, just some ideas. Uh, first of all, you need to play your personnel based on the age group you're coaching, uh, based on the talent level, based on the amount of time you have to practice. Uh, which is one of the main reasons that man coverage is usually the best route. Now, if you want to play man coverage, and we've got a bunch set drawn up in here. We've got the corner over, right corner over here. We've got the backer on the point. And the reason we got the backer on the point, regardless if you're playing man or zone, we feel like you ought to get your hands on the point and disrupt the release of the point in the bunch. Because when you do that, what's going to happen is it will normally... Uh, mess up the timing for all of these three guys here and really mess it up for the quarterback who if they hitch you know once or twice it gives this rusher a chance for the sack now you can see we've got everybody covered in man coverage here the free safety's got the center uh, which is also something else that you can take into consideration if this center's part of protection but once again uh, just looking at a man coverage option right here against a 6v6 bunch offense now Let's go over here and take a look at a, a theoretical zone. Now, we're calling this zone right here a 1-4-1. One, one. And please understand that, and that's the great thing about First Down Playbook, is that you can edit these plays. You can edit these defenses. But you've got the one rusher and the one deep. The rest that's underneath, we've got it as a four, is exactly that. How you play these four should be up to you, and it should be based on stopping what you're seeing. So let's go back to the coach that had the question about how, you know, how can I play zone? How can I get out of man a little bit to beat the bunch routes? Now, once again, like we just said, the first thing, we're lined up almost identically to when we were playing man because we want the quarterback to think it's man. We even want these guys to think it's man until the ball snap. The second thing you'll notice is that the backer is still up on the point. Still going to get his hands on the choke, even though that backer is going to drop in what we're calling a hook curl here. Now, the corners are over just to make it look like man coverage, and we've got it labeled as hook curl and curl flat. But at the end of the day, what you're going to end up wanting to do is you're going to want to end up probably playing these three on these three in and out, meaning the left corner will have the most inside route, and he'll pick that route up if it happens to be a crossing route by any one of these three. The backer will have the middle part of the uh, zone assignment, and the right corner will take the outside uh, part of the assignment. Now, you want to, uh, once again, the backer, this rush backer here, needs to make sure they keep pressure on the quarterback. That ball needs to get out uh, because at the same time where you're doing one, two, three, and dividing these guys up. you got to have some awareness of the deep ball. Now, thankfully, you've got a safety in behind that, and once again, that safety probably needs to look at the corner and have some kind of idea uh, what they're doing. Are they pass protecting or coming out? And then your backer can take care of this over here uh, in case they try to get the back out to this side. So once again, just trying to give you a suggestion. If you're interested in playing some zone and your players are old enough and mature enough and you practice enough at doing it, uh, then this might be one of the ways to consider it. Uh, but once, you know, like we have said before, you need to be very careful about that when you're playing flag football.